Well, now at 10 o'clock, the city of Beverly Hills is taking the first step tonight to pass the most restrictive tobacco and nicotine laws in the nation. That's right. KKLN's Chris Holmstrom is live tonight with the details. Chris. Yeah, that's right. The city is one step closer in banning the sales of tobacco products, but there are a couple of exceptions. Beverly Hills, home to Hollywood stars, upscale shopping, and fine dining, and maybe, just maybe, the first city in the country to ban tobacco sales. It strikes me as a little draconian, but I'm not against it. Others are against the proposal. Some people, that's what they do. And it's almost like you're saying you can't drink. Yes. Tuesday night, City Council passed the first reading of the proposal. It would ban the sale of tobacco in Beverly Hills. This includes cigarettes, cigars, chewing tobacco, and electronic cigarettes. The exception? Hotels through concierge services and cigar lounges. It's basically the most important meeting of my life. Rigo Fernandez owns Buena Vista Cigar Club. He's been outspoken about keeping cigar lounges open. It's very concerning because if I lose this business, I go broke. Dozens of residents are backing him up, including members of the Grand Havana Room, a private members-only club. Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of them. He sent this letter to city council saying it was his home away from home. And while it's looking good for lounges right now, the final vote will be next month. And if the proposal passes, some think tobacco companies will come out with lawsuits. I think they'll probably try. <laughs> Definitely think they'll try and they'll have the money to outlast anybody who goes up against them. And the final vote will be on June 4th. If it passes, it will go into effect in January 2021. Reporting live from Beverly Hills, I'm Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News.